Often when I pray, I'll go to a place of nature, and I'll take a walk, but I won't walk alone. I'll take my trusted companion with me. I'll have a walk with God, and I invite you to do the same. Elizabeth Elliot said this, It is God to whom and with we travel. While God is the end of our journey, God is also at every stopping place. In 1 John 2 verse 3, it says, By this we know that we have come to know God, if we follow God's commandments. When you take a walk with God, you take a walk with a trusted friend. You take a walk in faith. Because you know in this place you're going to feel good. Because you're with one that loves you unconditionally. Accepts you unconditionally. And you talk, not in holy terms, in big words, but you talk as you would to a good friend. And then you listen. You look at the beauty of nature and perhaps you even see more because of the consciousness you're in in that moment. How do others know that you're walking with God? Well, by your words and by your actions. When it comes to proclaiming your faith, the actions we take are far more important than the proclamations that we make. Is your conduct on a daily basis a worthy example for others? Is your behavior, a testimony to God. I hope that it is. See, there is a spiritual abundance that is available to those who follow God and allow God to take over their hearts, allow God to take over their words, allow God to take over their minds. There is a profound peace that infills the person that does this, from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. If you're like most of us, you are aware that some part of you needs vast improvement. I know I am. Well, ask God to help you in that building project, and God will. Today, is a perfect day to step out in faith and to take that walk with God and determine to be a living, a breathing example of the wonderful changes that God can make in the lives of those who choose to walk with God. And this is the time. This is the place. This is your moment to take that walk.